fly with Nina and I'm Nina I'm your host and I have um, Tiffany Nelson with me is it yes Nelson it is and um, she has a boutique actually in Town Square in Las Vegas and of course um, we are filming at Quirky Minds Media Studio and absolutely amazing James Kelly saved my soul because of the uh, epidemic and the COVID-19 and we had actually nowhere to go and he opened up his studio and here we are it's absolutely amazing Tiffany how are you I'm great how are you I'm doing absolutely wonderful now you, we I was in your shop at town square what was, I was doing something else I forgot what I was doing but I know we went there you were having a little little opening or something yes we had a um <coughs> I'm sorry we had a, a pop-up shop where <coughs> oh, you've got the same problems I had in my <laughs> life. There must be something in the air. <laughs> okay. So we had a pop-up shop where um, three um, boutiques came together. Um, oh. Me and my friend girls, they have boutiques in Town Square, too. So we had a pop-up shop where we came and free women for girls' night out to shop and sip. And um, that's that's what you came to. That's what I came to. Yes, ma'am. They had some fabulous clothes, which were not expensive. Yes. They were really, really cool. And I also <laughs> like myself. I like some of the younger generation clothes. <laughs> Because you know, I don't. You know, I'm an older woman, but I don't want to look an older woman. So I think you can get away with that. And I came up with um, with a couple of my guests before about having fashion shows and, and doing some different okay. stuff for the older women. Okay. So what do you think? Yes, I think it's amazing. Um, what I sell is I sell a lot of um, party wear, cocktail, dinner wear, uh, plus size um, garments. I have um, for petite women. For I have all sizes, just all different sizes. pieces. Yeah that um, I'm really into being glam and being fabulous and, you know, different. Now, with all these plus <laughs> sizes, you know, as, you, as we know, the whole world, the whole generation, the whole everything, a lot of women are, are plus sizes mm -hmm. now. And normally, um, trying to buy clothes in plus sizes has been very sort of like, you know, you can only get this or only get mm -hmm. that. So how do you find the fashion now? Are people designing more for the plus size woman? Um, I really try to focus on finding uh, uh, items with it has a lot of stretch. Yes. Um, it's gonna really like hold the woman in because, yes. like what you said, like today we're you know we're we're, we're more plus size. You know everybody is not super, yeah, not, no, super not, skinny. Not super skinny. Yes, and um, food is in the abundance, <laughs> <laughs> and we're all eating. Yes, and so I'm also adding like garments, different garments to. Like undergarments because a lot of women don't know like, um, okay, I need this body shaper with this dress. I need this body shaper with this dress. Like I need to hold the stomach yeah. in hair. I need to hold the butt in hair. Yes. I need to have it a little longer. I need it a little shorter. Yes. And so they because just because you happen to be a plus size does not mean you can't wear all these beautiful clothes. Yes. And so this is in fact I was in one of the big department stores and they had. And I've never seen this before. They have plus size models. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah. You know, yeah. Usually they have the skinny ones, and you look at it and you think, hmm, I'll never get into that thing. You know? Yeah. And now they've got the plus size ones, which I and I thought, how cool is that? Yeah, I think it's I think it's amazing because a lot of women, you know, they'll come in and I'll be like, no, I have your size too. Don't just look at the small rack and think like, just come in and let me help you. Mm -hmm. Like it's bigger um, than just selling clothes to me. Like I started, I've been doing hair all my life. Like I was. A stylist forever so really? I, I really love all of this I love to see a woman put a piece on and she's like oh my god I feel so good like that's what I women love women have to feel good yes you know, have to feel is, good yeah you've got it's to important. feel good regardless of what size you are yes it doesn't um plus sizes are definitely much more in now than they've ever been um and a woman seems to feel comfortable being in a plus size mm -hmm. yeah and they feel comfortable with whereas before they would stay home they, they would, would go yeah, now yeah and so now and is that because of the fashion is that because of people are accepting which they should always be accepting them yes. anyway but uh, but they're all being accepted more now yes and yeah and i think that's important i think that a lot of women should just accept themselves and find pieces that fits their body type yes that's what's important and then you you can feel just as fabulous as the lady that you feel that is a two you know and nothing against the lady that's a two but like I said, I just think it's important for the lady that's a 16 or 14 to feel amazing. Like, I, I, I really love this. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Um, why have women become so free of being plus size? Because, you know, in my day and age, it was quite some years ago, but that's okay. You know, we always, everything was always very skinny and always very, you know, but now the woman seems to be able to do what she wants, feel what she wants. What, what, what happened? 
Um, I think women just start, like, especially with social media so big, mm -hmm. I think women just started saying, like, I'm going to be free. I'm going to be amazing. Like, who cares what somebody think? Like, I love oh, me, absolutely. you know? Um, yeah, and I think a lot of women just start really, like, they got on Instagram. Instagram is really big, you know? Yes. And they're on Instagram, and they're like, girl, I'm just going to be me. I'm going to be me. Like, it's yeah. nothing that I could do. Like, I know, for example, one of, one of my cousins, like, she always been a plus size, but she could never lose weight because she has a hormonal problem. Yes. You know, so some women is just accepting the things that they may be going that through. They're and that they're well, born they with. Yeah, they least, can't help it. Yeah. As a child, well, sometimes you've got a lot of, of children. It used to be mostly in the male situation. Yeah. There always was more male that was sort of the, the plus size mm -hmm. and the larger size. But now it's, it's like it's, it's like a free world. It is. is. Huh? I think you should be free and sexy and fabulous. <laughs> Free sex and that could be nothing cooler, right? I think right. that's absolutely yes. good. So what made you open up in Town Square? Um, I have been looking around and um, I just really love Town Square. It's so sexy. Yeah. It's just you know it's very sexy. It's yeah. Shop. It's a shopping center. <laughs> They've got everything there. Everything yeah, there. but it's I like the style of it and everything and so I'm actually not from here. I'm actually from Arkansas from Pine Bluff. Okay. So I moved from Arkansas to Dallas and now I'm here in Vegas, and I've been here almost uh, almost three years. Three years. And yes. How do you like it? Is it a different way Vegas. of life? No, is I love different? Vegas. Is it different compared to other parts of the world? Yeah, yeah, most <laughs> definitely Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> definitely Arkansas. I, mean, I, think, I don't know why, but I think of Arkansas, which I'm probably totally wrong. I always think of farms. Well, yeah, yeah. There have a lot of farms mm -hmm. there, a lot of sort of country people and farms yes, and yes. sort of, you know, and sort of. Whereas Vegas is the total opposite. It's, Bling, 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 and then bling on top of bling. See, that's what I love, bling, bling. You like the See, bling, like, bling? I love you. You love me? Am I, am I all right? Am I, am I? Fabulous. Am I all right? Am I, am I with it? Black is always safe, isn't it? Yeah, yes, but you're fabulous. Like, you, you got your, your earrings. You got the earrings on. You know, your belt. Like, you're just a dog. You're a dog. Oh, isn't that sweet? <laughs> a pretty doll. A, pre a beautiful doll, yes. A beautiful doll. <laughs> so, now, you went through the COVID thing. You were closed down. You know that's tough on you to get through it all. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, it doesn't seem like it was tough for you. Well, because I, because I, at first during COVID, I actually was doing hair. I only had the boutique for a couple months. Oh, really? So the boutique is new. Yeah, I've been a hairstylist all my life. So I sell hair extensions, things like that. So I still was able to make money. Yes. In different ways. So you have a built-in clientele. Huh? You have a clientele. Yeah, well, yeah, it's coming. It's it's building. It's, it's building. building. You're building. It's yeah. building. Yes. So you do hair extension. You I do don't do hair works. anymore. Oh, yes. I just sell hair extensions. You sell still, hair. I still sell hair and extensions. And do you sell those in your boutique? No. Okay. No, you I don't sell, sell those them. online. Yes, ma'am. So everything's on. So how can they get those online? Um, they can go to my website. It's I love forever beautiful dot com, and then that's also the boutique. I love forever beautiful. So it's all in one. It's all in one. Yes. Which is a, which a very very good idea. Yes. Excellent idea. And how are you doing with the extensions? Because everybody, I haven't got any extensions yet. I haven't done anything yet, but it's coming to it. Believe me, that they put these little things in and all these extensions, and it's so popular now, isn't it? Yeah, it's so many different types of extensions. You have your your wigs. You have your human wigs. Your synthetic wigs. You have your tape t tape band pieces. You have. Uh, it's just so many. It's it's a lot. <laughs> You've got things in the back, you've got things yeah. in the back. What about short hairs? Do you have short hair that they can... I don't know. I don't have that. You I don't have get that. it. I no, need you to need get to get that. a few shorts, but you know, people like yeah. me, this short. Because <laughs> you just need like a little piece for volume. That's I need it. a little piece of stick in there, a little bit of stick in there. Yeah. I don't know, I've never worked because I've never done it, so this would be something. But you know, funny, I remember my mother used to have, she had a, a, a beauty salon when she okay. was 22 years old, and she had all, but she used to have these, I remember these little combs and all this hair, and she would slip this in somewhere. Mm -hmm. You know, she'd slip it in there and she'd suddenly have a bunch of curls. <laughs> and this is going back a few years, many, many years. Yeah. And now look at it, it's Every, really big. Everything just repeats itself. It does, it does. It all, it all comes back. So if you, <laughs> if you keep something yeah. long enough, yes, you can recycle it. Yes, yes. I think I'm going to recycle my whole home. All my wardrobes are going to be recycled. I wear the skirt for this and no, then I'll wear it. You, no, really, you can, yes. you can split it all up now. Yeah. Like, I love to... Um, go to like thrift stores and shop in antique stores and find different pieces like I'm really girly so like I love like just like I love your earrings you know yes. like I just love extra 
I love her. But I happen to love big earrings for my show because I, I like to have something definite. And, yes. and that's the earring yes. part I yes. seem to have got hold of. Yes. And, and so I, thank you very much. You're thank welcome. you. So how can anybody reach you? Um, on my Instagram is I love forever beautiful, which stands for Stand Forever Beautiful. That's why I came up with the name. Forever <laughs> Beautiful. And then on Facebook is I Love Forever Beautiful. Um, everything is I Love Forever Beautiful. That's how they can get a hold of me. And come to Town Square and come see me. Come shop. I have all different sizes. And I would love to see you ladies and help you ladies. So you can either see her in the shop or you can go to Instagram. You can go to all these different platforms and you'll, yes. you shall be found. Yes, thank you. Absolutely <laughs> amazing. You know, it's nice to find out something a little bit different about the uh, boutique and you know, especially the plus size because people find it so hard to go out there and have these really gimmicky, these fun little dresses and things. It's the plus sizes because they really don't know where to go and how to get them. So now, with you, with your help, they're yes. out there, they can get it. Thank you for watching Vegas Live with Nina. It's been a great week, absolutely fabulous. We shall be right back next week with our new guests, new people. And don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe, <laughs> Vegas Live with Nina. If you enjoy the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nina on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Nina.